Hey guys and welcome to another Smart Photo Reviews video. Bad weather has forced us back to our little improvised studio, but that's how it is. The show must go on. Today we have for you one interesting tripod by Manfrotto. Uh, that's the model Manfrotto 190 GO. So in several minutes you will see what are the main features of this tripod. Uh, that's what we have after unboxing uh, the tripod. As you can see, here is some extra protectional pouch or carrying, a, I don't know, carrying bag for this tripod, uh, which doesn't seem that sturdy, but it's okay as an extra protection. You have these strings that are meant for carrying the tripod on your shoulder. They seem uh, too thin to my taste, so they might not be that comfortable to wear. Inside we have our star of the day, that's Manfrotto aluminum tripod 190 GO series, that looks like this. From additional accessories here in the bag you have instructions and you have a little plastic bag with a quick release plate which is of the good type if I may say because it has a, its own screw for uh, attaching it to your camera. So let's start uh, from the top of the tripod. Uh, here we have a heavy duty uh, ball head, uh, the type of the head the model of the head is MHX Pro BHQ2. It's a magnesium ball head that is very sturdy and can uh, stand a lot of abuse and a lot of heavy loads. Uh, when we mount this quick release plate on the head, it does its standard click, and we have a safety lock here, which is excellent addition because when we tighten this quick release plate and our gear, we cannot release it until we pull this lever down and then release it completely. So it's an extra protection for our gear. About the head, we have some screws here. I will show you which, uh, uh, what every one of them is doing. Uh, here we have this screw that when you release you can rotate uh, the ball head like this. You have here a little scale with angles if you want to do some panoramic photography. And you can also completely remove this head from the tripod and attach some other head if you need some more precise head or something else or three-way head or anything else. But this head seems quite fine in the combination with this tripod. The second screw is here. By releasing it, you release the bolt head. Uh, one downside of this bolt head is that you can only rotate it in a portrait mode at one side of the head, but it's uh, common to Manfrotto tripods. It's uh, for making it more sturdy and more stable when you tighten the head up. And the third screw we have here, it's for, here screw, here, uh, this screw is for uh, adjusting the friction of the ball head. So if you have more equipment and more load, you will tighten this screw up. So when you release the ball head, your uh, your camera gear won't fall out on some, uh, some side when you're trying to adjust it the way you want it. So that's about this ball head.
Now let's continue with the tripod when, ex when we exclude the bolt head. Uh, here we have a proprietary system of Manfrotto that is named EasyLink, which lets you attach additional accessories to this tripod, like LED lights for video recording. Next, we have four section legs that are made of aluminum or aluminium. Uh, that have uh, four angles. You adjust angles by pushing this lever down and we will show you these four angles. One, two, three and four. You hear clicks and you know that you adjusted the angle correctly. About extend extending uh, the legs you have this uh, twist and lock system which you can release by one hand motion, like this, and extend completely all of the sections of the leg. So I will release it back to the original position and show you something about the central column. It has some great features too. Central column you can release by the means of this screw here, then you go up and if you want to put this central column into horizontal position, you just push the button down here and here is the system that opens and lets you put the central column into completely horizontal position if you want to do some macro photography or uh, landscape photography to be close to the ground. Now we're going to show you the minimum working position of this tripod. First you have to release this middle central column, then push this button to make it horizontal, then tighten the screw. Okay, that's it. And now you just adjust the angle of the legs. You go to maximum angle for minimum height of the tripod and that's it, we have achieved the minimum working uh, position of the tripod which is only 9 centimeters above the ground uh, which is about uh, 3, a bit, mo uh, a bit more than 3 inches above the ground so you can do macro photography, landscape photography whatever you want and the tripod is very sturdy and stable like this. So now we will show you how this tripod looks like when it's in its uh, maximum working position, maximum height. Uh, first we will release the legs. One and the second one. And the third one. Okay, then put them on the ground and release, extend the central column to its maximum position, which is like this. And now you can see I'm about 190 centimeters tall or 6.2 feet, a bit above that. For me, this is even taller than it should be because when you put your gear on the quick release plate, it's above my eye level. So this tripod could even be a bit smaller, a bit shorter, because it, it could be even uh, more compact when it's completely folded down. So that's it. As usual, we will check the stability of this tripod by doing our little test. As always, we have 70 to 200 millimeters lens zoomed to maximum 200 millimeters. We have turned the lens stabilization off. We have zoomed the picture to 100% and now we will bump a lens a little bit and wait until the image stabilizes completely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it took 7 seconds to stabilize completely the image, which is a very good result. 
So let's talk about uh, some good and bad stuff about this tripod as a conclusion. First of all, we have standard quick release plate which has its own screw for tightening the plate to the camera. You have this safety lock system which is excellent addition. You have excellent magnesium ball head that you can adjust any position you prefer. Then you have this excellent easy link attachment for LED lights or some other accessories when shooting videos or some types of photography. About the angles, you have four angles, which is not that common. Some, uh, most of the times you have three angles of the legs. You have excellent uh, minimum working position of the tripod. As you saw, when you put the center column horizontally and uh, put legs into maximum angle, you have working position of around uh, 9 centimeters or a little bit uh, below 3 inches. So you have also a rubber here on one of the legs, so when it's cold outside you won't be touching the extremely cold metal material. So that's about good stuff about this tripod. So let's talk about some flaws on, or downsides of this tripod. There were just a few of them. First of all, we have noticed that this lever here for a safety lock system is made of plastic. It should have been made of metal materials or magnesium like the rest of the head. So it would be excellent addition if it was made of metal. Uh, second thing is that this button here for releasing the central column and putting it into horizontal position is also made of plastic, but not only the button, but this little lever here should have been made of magnesium or some kind of aluminum or something else to be more sturdy, more capable of withstanding uh, the re repeated use. Also, minor flaw is that uh, we don't have uh, spikes here on the end of the legs, so uh, spikes would make it easier to use this tripod on some uh, surfaces that are not so leveled and that are like rocks or something. So that's about bad stuff about this tripod. So what's our final conclusion about this Manfrotto 190 GO tripod. It's an excellent tripod made of very quality materials that can withstand a lot of abuse, a lot of photography tasks. There are some minor flaws that uh, we mentioned earlier, but if you count everything, we had so many good stuff about this tripod and so little bad stuff about this tripod so the conclusion is that this uh, product is well made and that we can recommend it to you completely so that's all for today thank you for being with us if you like what we're doing please consider sub subscribing or commenting below asking questions whatever you want we would really appreciate that until next time bye bye from Smart Photo Reviews channel.